Thanks, Chris. But we do begin with breaking news on the sentencing for Dr. Fareed Fada. He diagnosed and mistreated patients, making millions of dollars in insurance money. Our team coverage begins with seven investigator Jonathan Carlson. He joins us now live. Jonathan. Well, good afternoon. A dramatic morning in court. Fareed Fada sentenced to 45 years in prison. Victims' families, uh, victims themselves, their friends gasping at that. They wanted 175 years. I'm going to start by giving you a live picture here outside the courthouse. You can just see the media crush and, and some of those victims and their family members that have gathered out here to share their thoughts with us. The judge saying moments ago this is a huge, horrific series of criminal acts that were committed by the defendant. Before his sentencing, Fada stood up in front of the judge and saw uncontrollably at times. It was the first time he showed any emotion in court. He refused to face his victims or show emotion during their impact statements earlier this week, but somehow found the tears when it came to trying to save himself. Now, Fadi, you may recall, is accused of unnecessarily medicating more than 500 patients, some with Kibo, patients who didn't even have cancer. His motive? They're now left with lasting health problems, those victims. His motive, money and greed, according to him and the judge. He would fraudulently bill insurers for those bogus treatments. Now, here's some of what Fada said to the judge when pleading for a lesser sentence. I want to show you this. I stand before you so ashamed of my actions. I pray for repentance and the right of redemption. Last Tuesday, I could not look at my patients and their families. I was horribly ashamed of my conduct. I have violated the medical oath and caused anguish, hardship, and pain to my patients and their families. If we can come back here live, I want to bring in uh, some of these folks that were listening to all of this. Your name, ma'am? Cheryl Blades. And tell me your story briefly. My mom was diagnosed um, in 2011 with adenocarcinoma, and after his arrest and getting her records, we found out that she was grossly overdosed with uh, Farahim, which is one of the items that he pled guilty to. And your reaction to the 45 years? Not long enough. It's not long enough. He took many lives. 45 years is not long enough. And when he got up there and gave his impact statement, he was crying. Did it mean anything to you? It was more of I hearing his voice for the first time was the hardest part of me because I could hear him talking to my mother because I went to every appointment so I could hear him talking to her and promising her to save her. And tell me about these blue ribbons. All of you guys have been banding together all week. You've been traveling by bus, coming in, holding hands, supporting each other. What does that mean? We've become a family. The blue ribbon signifies our group for the um, patients and victims of Dr. Fada's. We stand together as one. As we said before, we're an army of one. And we will continue fighting this to make sure that other doctors can't do this to other victims. Well, ma'am, good luck to you, and thank you for speaking with us. We also heard a short time ago from U.S. Attorney Barb McQuaid. Listen into what she had to say. Okay, we're going to hear from her in a little bit. Obviously, the U.S. Attorney's Office, uh, they were working very hard on this case, uh, trying to get 175 years uh, for Dr. Fada. In the end, the judge ruling 45 years after he calculated all of the counts uh, due to his crimes and their severity. Uh, he does have an opportunity to appeal this. The judge did give him that right. There is going to be a restitution hearing coming up soon as well, in which we could see uh, what restitution exactly he will owe. Uh, the federal government. For now, we're live outside the courthouse. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Thanks, Jonathan. Now, our live breaking news coverage continues with 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Bisram. She is also downtown with more reaction from the victims of Dr. Fareed Fada. Jennifer. Hi, Malcolm. This has been a long week for victims and victims' of families. You know, since Monday, they were here for a sentencing hearing. They gave emotional testimony of how Dr. Farid Bada affected their lives forever. This morning, they gathered here. A lot of them came on bus. They said a prayer before they walked in. They had on yellow shirts and ribbons and hold each other's hands walking into that courtroom, hoping for a life sentence here. But that is not what they got. The judge ruling a 45 year sentence here. And I am just joined by uh, two people here who were inside of that courtroom and were affected. First, I have Liz. Liz, can you tell me about that moment, that moment when the sentence was read? 
Um, it was very emotional. I was hopeful that I'd get 175 years based on the judge saying this is an unprecedented case. He harmed so many people, so it deserves a just sentence. 45 years is not a just sentence. 45 years is a slap in all the victims' faces. Hundreds to thousands of victims, their homes were taken away from them. Their loved ones and families were lost. Not Fada's, not poor Fada. He talked about um, all his health problems. Poor Fada. I haven't had medical insurance, and I've had all kinds of health problems because of this. Poor us, not poor Fada. And you told us this has affected you from the very beginning. You made most of these court appearances or these court hearings. Uh, just talk to me about that. Yes, I've been here for every court appearance. Um, it's been very emotional. It's been two years of, of court appearances that have been very hard and difficult. How has Dr. Fada affected your life? Oh, tremendously. He took away my, my one remaining family member. I have distant relatives, but my mom was my last remaining family member. And it's been a struggle for the past 10 years since my mom first saw him.